why didn't this building have fire sprinklers? The question raises a serious issue, and not just for Tukwila residents. There are dozens of buildings in the city of Tukwila, but more importantly for the public that's out there, there are literally hundreds of occupancies throughout the Seattle area that are not sprinkled. So where were the sprinklers for Maple Crest Apartments? The complex was built in the early 60s, and back then building codes didn't require any to be installed. When the building codes were updated, the building wasn't. The chief says costs play a big factor in why older buildings like Maple Crest don't have these systems in place. Well, that changes the conditions of affordable housing on a, on a property like this. Despite the costs, the need for a sprinkler system was clear yesterday morning. Fire sprinkler systems save lives. Fire crews battled 50-foot flames as best they could when they arrived at Maple Crest. But the complex was completely destroyed in the end. Chief Whitwer says a sprinkler system could have helped. Our people that responded to this call did the absolute best work that they could do to uh, evacuate the people out of the building. Three people were not able to. Uh, had there been sprinklers in, in this building, uh, we have seen from across the nation those buildings that do have sprinklers. We have different outcomes. Now the responsibility on installing these sprinkler systems ultimately falls on the property owner. I reached out to the owners of Maple Crest Apartments for a comment, but they were unavailable. For now, we're live in Tukwila, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.